everybody, it is me, Fizzer Bunny, and welcome back to episode 34 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get To Work. Okay guys, off camera, the most important thing that happened is that Jace has been promoted to a sergeant, and I'm really, really excited. He is officially the first person in this household to reach level 6 of his active career profession. So I'm really, really excited. Um, we didn't go with Jace in his work day, actually. We, he just went by himself, and he did some really good work actually so let me just go ahead and actually read this to you guys okay uh, so yeah, Jace has been promoted to a sergeant. He will now make an additional 16 simulants per hour for a grand total of 101 simulants per hour. He also received the following bonus, um, like all these items, um, yeah, pretty much 624 simulants plus. His next shift is Wednesday at 9 p.m. a.m. And yeah, we have seven vacation days available. So it's really, really exciting. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm really, really excited to see the sergeant in the career professions that we have. It's going to be really, really awesome. I also bought, like, um, an additional counter so I could purchase this a tea maker or something. Because literally, though, um, I'm getting a little bit more decisive, I guess, when it comes to the moves that I'm making with our shop. And pretty much, I purchased that tea makers so that our sims can actually be in a happy mood uh, because i did notice that they are more successful with their interactions especially like with the retail and stuff they're more successful when they are in a happy mood so um i'm gonna make sure that they're in a happy mood before they kind of interact with the customers and stuff so it doesn't fail um, and you know what? Venus isn't doing anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and have her repair this as well. And also mop up that puddle. And yes, off camera, we also made a couple of sales. Um, I believe we made three sales, and then the other one we made, um, you guys were already here. So pretty much, I'm gonna have Kaylee try to kind of socialize with people, even though it's very doubtful that she's doing anything good. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, actually, you know what? She looks like she's by herself, so let's go ahead and actually grade her. See what we can do to kind of increase our possibility of getting her to purchase something. Clean these up as well. I feel so bad for Venus, but you know what? She is fine. She's A-OK. -okay. You know what? She is helping out um, around the shop. And I think, you know, since Venus is actually you know, a neat freak, I guess. She likes to clean a lot, so I think it really does kind of work with her personality. If she wants to clean every freaking speck in our house, um, or in our business or whatever, okay? So yeah, pretty much we're gonna be trying to make some sales in this part. Nothing too, too crazy. Once again, um, I'm trying to save all the action for, you know, our active work day, I guess, which we're gonna be following. I'm not so sure, it's probably gonna be either Maya or um, Gavin. I'm still not decided on it. Uh, okay, she's really sleepy, by the way, so she really needs to like go to sleep as well. I'm gonna go ahead and have her go, go to sleep, actually. And then um, somebody's gonna have to mop that, but you know what, I'm gonna save that for someone else. Uh, but she is going to tend to this customer over here. Okay, it looks like we're making up some money. Yes, we're making a profit. But interesting thing to point out is that we didn't spend as much money restocking the items that we had. Because, you know, we did not sell everything in the last part. So, it's a little bit easier for us to make a profit this time. Um, plus, we are selling quite a lot more items. I believe in the last part we maybe sold four items or something. Maybe three or four. Maybe six items. I don't know. But I think we're gonna be able to sell a little bit more items right now. So we're definitely gonna be making a profit. So that's really really exciting I have so she's she really needs to sleep pretty much I'm just gonna go ahead and have her go to sleep and speed things up a little bit while we're waiting for people to kind of make up their minds whether they're gonna buy something or not uh, and by the way somebody like needs to tend to these customers so um so yeah, let's see here. Who is free at home? You know what? Jace is actually not feeling so bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring him here. See if he is, you know, able to interact with some of our customers. Uh, let's talk to this girl over here and see if... Let's greet her. 
Uh, but yeah, Jace actually did some really good work today. So I'm really, really happy to um, see that he is in the level 6 of the detective career. How awesome is that? Um, I, I think I'm going to go with Maya, actually, tomorrow. I don't know. Or, like, later today, I guess. I'm going to go with Maya just because... I kind of really want to work at the medical profession. I don't know why. You know what? Let's go to the scientist thing. We can always go with Maya, you know, in the next part, I guess, or something like that. I did not have any idea that Jace was going to be promoted, though. Like, I literally, like, had no freaking clue. Uh, but it looks like he is doing some good interactions, I guess, you know? Uh, so let's actually talk to this girl here and see, like, greet her. Uh, and I love how we can actually, like, you know, make some people in our household help out at our... Okay, let's actually have them go here. And socialize with Elizabeth, which, by the way, she is not in a good mood. I don't think she's in a mood to purchase anything, so let's just pretty much try to interact with her and see how she reacts. You know, it's always like a hit and miss thing anyway. You know, some you win some, you lose some. I don't know why she's like being so hostile or something. Yeah, I don't know why she's like being so cranky and stuff. Yeah, it's it's not working. I'm not gonna push it, whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them actually to it, whatever. I think the customers can't- okay, there we go. Somebody's ready to purchase. Jace, you can go home. And Venus, I think you are already like well rested. So you can go ahead and actually tend to this customer over here. She's ready to purchase, so that's really cool. Ring her up. There we go. And I believe, you know, work for Maya probably begins in an hour or something like that. So yeah, uh, you know what? I really want to go with Maya for her work. I don't know why, uh, but you know, I'm I'm gonna look at probably who has like the nearest um, day off and stuff or vacation for the week, and who whoever kind of you know whoever has the vacation closest, I'm gonna go ahead and um, work with them. If that made any sense, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm out of it. It's really late for me. I've recorded like three videos for you guys today. Um, Pre-recorded a lot of videos because um, I feel like I'm going to be very, very... I, I know that I'm going to be very busy this week because it's, it's going to be my birthday on the 19th. I don't know. I love how I'm disclosing that. But yes, guys, it's going to be my birthday. And <laughs> I just know that I'm going to be super busy. Okay, so she's gonna be our last customer. Um, I'm gonna bring Maya here. Uh, yeah, because I want to take precautions. And I just want to be there pretty much when we get the notification that she has work or something. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and join her. Thank goodness we took that freaking precaution because that was literally gonna drive me crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna see you guys when we are back at the hospital. Okay, guys? Okay guys, welcome back to the hospital. It's it's I it's our third day here consecutively and once again we are freaking out for blood. If it's possible, I think I'm going to go ahead and try for a promotion. I think it's very very You know what? This is super possible to have a promotion cuz all of her requirements are, you know, fulfilled and all that stuff i just hope that we don't screw up a freaking diagnosis but other than that i'm very confident we're gonna have a promotion i'm so excited for this you guys okay i'm gonna go ahead and actually um make everybody care for themselves here because usually i forget to do these uh, okay there we go and then maya actually does not feel so good today she did not take care of herself properly okay whatever uh, so pretty much we are going to tend to Elizabeth Connor because uh, we have been seeing a lot of Elizabeth actually we've been seeing her um, a lot in our shop so I think it's kind of natural for us to be drawn to her when she's sick you know because uh, we are 
you know, kind of experiencing a lot of hers, but she she literally spends a lot of money on her shop is what I'm trying to say. So literally she deserves the best healthcare possible. So because who else is gonna buy anything in Kaylee's boutique, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and actually take care of Elizabeth. Uh, pretty much swab her for a sample and we're also going to run tests to find diagnosis, analyze her sample. You know what, let's refer her to an x-ray scan already. Uh, cause I don't want to like be hassled by all of these. There we go. Okay. Uh, and this usually takes a good while, so I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Okay, by the way, you guys, I have Zerbu's Get to School mod, um, and I'm actually also building a school right now. Um, you guys should definitely check it out. Watch out for it. It's probably going to be up, um, you know, the same day as this video. I don't know. I It's probably going to be messed up or something, but yes, you guys, I am building a school for The Sims 4. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, it's really, really awesome. It's very colorful. It's an elementary school, by the way, so... Please check it out once you guys um, are free or something. <laughs> okay, now she's feeling a little bit... Um, okay, compelling diagnosis. We still need to do a bunch of things for her. Scan her body. Uh, okay, pretty much just try to get as much information from her as possible. And then, oh my god, you guys hear that sound? That was really creepy. Okay, and we need to analyze her sample. Okay, we also need to check her ears. Uh, examine patient, check her ears. And let's go ahead and actually analyze her sample. Elizabeth Connor, let's speed things up a little bit once again. Okay, and then um, pretty much, okay, check her eyes once we're done. Because uh, I don't think... You know, I'm not going to make, like, a diagnosis that's just compelling. You know, I want to have a great guaranteed diagnosis. So, come on, girl. You can do it. I love how she's literally wearing, like, a different color scrubs. Is she, like, a nurse or something? Uh, oh, she's an orderly, which means that we are a higher level than her. So, we can pretty much, like, you know. Uh, yeah, we can pretty much like boss her around and stuff. I can feel like my voice is leaving me because it's really late and it's really cold. Uh, so, um, it's probably going to be my last recording for the night. Okay. Um, yeah, she is feeling like really, really dazed. I feel like we can compelling diagnosis though. We still need to take her temperature or something. Examine patient, take her temperature. Uh, oh my! Oh, oh, oh my! Oh, that did not turn out so well. And then please tell me, okay, we need to perform a freaking treadmill test on her. This is kind of lame. Can we take her temperature again? It looks like she just has the chicken pox or something. I don't think this would be that difficult. And she is tense as well. So let's, you know what? Let's. We really need to do a medical. Referral on her and refer her to a treadmill test because I think that's gonna help us as well with diagnosing her illness uh, And pretty much our girl is really really tense That's probably why we're failing at a lot of our interactions here. Wow, check her out. She's really sexy Sexy uh, Okay, so let's just beat things up a bit Come on, girl, you can do it. You can do it. Literally, though, I could not last that long on a treadmill. Uh, oh my god, and she's feeling really dizzy. Um, oh, come on. Okay, and we also need to discuss her general health as well. So hopefully that would help. Uh, examine patient, discuss general health. Why is she tense? This is really annoying. Oh, she needs to have some fun, and she needs to pee. Uh, yeah, compelling diagnosis. Hell no. Um, let's take her temperature again. Oh, there we go. It looks like it's going well this time. Okay. And it's still a compelling diagnosis, though, so... That freaking sucked. 
Uh, I don't want to like diagnose her with like some uh, like I don't know I don't want to risk it because we already have like some really good work performance anyway. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's take care of Maya for now. We, she really needs to be taken care of. So let's use the toilet really quickly, and then we're also gonna grab some food. We're gonna buy a sandwich. Actually, pre-made. Yeah, let's buy a sandwich. Okay, speed things up a little bit. Hopefully, it's going to give her a little bit more energy through the day. There we go. And come on, girl. You can do this. And, you know, we're losing a lot of time as well. So, so yeah. We kind of really need to kind of pick up the pace here. Okay, that's enough. I, I'm going to go for that. Whatever. It, it kind of works. And let's actually deal with another patient and see kind of what's wrong with them. Okay, more choices. Uh, where Examine patient, check her ears. Hopefully this thing turns out well. Oh, check her eyes, I mean. Oopsie, that was a mistake. Check her eyes. And we also need to log in some sample reports as well, so... Girl, Maya, I really, really want you to be promoted today, so don't even try. Don't try to me, Maya. Don't try. Okay, take your temperature. Is that a bookshelf, really? That's really cool. Oh, where did that book come from? I thought there was like a bookshelf in this room or something. What freaking ever. Okay. And then we need to... Okay, we need to stay late. I check her ears. Uh, whatever. Let's actually check somebody else's ears. Can we um, more examine patient, discuss general health with her? What else do we need to do to get like a good diagnosis from her? Because seriously though. Yeah, talk about her health care. See what she's been up to. She is really in a bad state of fun right now. Um, we need to log in the sample reports as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully, it's going to give us a little bit more work performance. Speed things up a little bit. We're losing, like, so much time. This is, like, really depressing. There we go. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. Come on, girl. You can do this, Maya. You can do this. Did you do it? There we go. Well, we once again, we did not do anything. Swab her for a sample. Yes, swab her. Uh, where is the exam patient? Swab for a sample. Speed things up a little bit. And we also need to check somebody's ears as well. Oh um, my gosh, I really, really, really want to have a promotion today. Uh, a viable tissue sample was collected from what's her name, whatever. And once again, we need to analyze her tissue sample. Of uh, Erica Duffy, that's a really cute name. Kind of reminds me of Hilary Duff, of course. And we have like less than an hour to, you know, finish our work day. Which once again is freaking depressing because I really want to have like a double promotion today. That would like literally be the best. Maya, come on, girl. Okay, this is getting a little bit more optimistic, I guess. Okay, let's log in the sample results. Because uh, I really, really want to make it to gold, you know? Okay, let's speed things up a little bit. There we go. This is probably, like, our last interaction before our workday ends. And come on. Oh my god, yes, thank freaking goodness. We got a promotion. Oopsie, I hit my hand on my desk. Okay, anyway, end of shift. Maya did a good job today. She can really turn th this clinic... Clinic? <laughs> she can really turn this clinic into a beacon for the community. Awesome, Maya has been promoted to RN, which is a registered nurse. By the way, shout out to my mom. She is a registered nurse. And my aunt and my cousins and literally all my friends are registered nurses. Like, everyone knows that Philippines equals nurses. I'm literally kidding, though. That's kind of a stereotype, which we should not be promoting. Anyway, she is a registered nurse. She will now make an additional 27 simulants per hour for a grand total of 90. 
95 simoleons per hour. She's also received the following bonus of 576 simoleons, Doctor of Medicine Diploma, can now determine baby gender for pregnant sims. Her next shift is Tuesday at 7 a.m. Okay. So she is officially the second sim to make it to level six of the, you know, active career for get to work. So I'm really, really excited to get a promotion for Gavin as well. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this part up right here. Okay, guys, once again, please don't forget to hit that like, favorite and subscribe button because it's really going to help out this channel a lot. It's really going to help out a lot. So thank you so much for um being so supportive and if you guys have anything to say don't forget to comment it down below and i will respond as swiftly as i can once again you all have an awesome 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 day thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye bye